it, training indoors versus training outdoors. Training indoors versus training outdoors. What is more effective? What's more effective? It's probably going to vary from person to person. Uh, I mean, if you're just talking about like the effectiveness of the actual training and, and like what it could be, training indoors is way better in terms of um, just you won't have to stop at any lights. You won't have to stop at any stop signs. You won't, uh, I don't know. There's no potential to get hit by a car. There's no weather that you have to deal with. So you won't have to recover from like sunburn if you get sunburn or you won't have to deal with sunburn. You won't have to deal with heat. There's all manner of different things. You know, you could, you could train in like a temperature controlled environment if you really wanted to. Uh, like just all the time, which is probably the best thing to do if you want to get a specific task. Like if you want to win a specific race at a specific time in the season, when it's going to be a specific range of uh, temperatures, you want to do that. But, okay, so that being said, training indoors, it's going to surpass everything. There's no way that training outdoors can ever, will ever trump training indoors. That being said, obviously we need to train outdoors to, because it's like it feels really good. We get more, a lot more vitamin D. Uh, we get to be able to, um, you know, see more things. It's more stimuli, more stimula, more, more stimulation. And uh, that's what everybody likes. Cute doggy back there. You want to go outside? Okay. Go on. And uh, yeah, we gotta we gotta clean up my yard though. So that's all I really want to talk about. Uh, training. Indoors versus training outdoors. What's better? Certainly training, it's just up to the person, but training indoors has a lot uh, more pros uh, than cons, uh, than more, uh, more pros than cons than, you know, training outdoors. So, yeah, I, I mean, I just named a lot of them. I mean, there certainly are a lot more. It's just more effective for, for actual cycling. Um, now, if you want to, if you just, if just, you know, the sun and being outside and feeling, smelling fresh air, well, it's not going to be usually even, fresh air can't even really be an argument for uh, training outdoors because there's so many monkeys in cars driving around absolutely everywhere just polluting the air. So, and polluting your lungs every single time they pass you. So that can't even really be a thing either, <laughs> unfortunately, unless you train in, like, the mountains where there's no cars or in, like, a place where there's absolutely no vehicles or at a time of day. I suppose you could get out at a certain time of day. Like, if you get out really early in the morning, there's going to be a lot less cars that you have to suck down their exhaust when you're breathing, doing, like, 300 watts and uh, heavily breathing. Um... But yeah, okay, that's all I really want to talk about. Uh, in summary, training indoors is definitely better for just as like an actual training exercise um, for a specific task. But uh, training outdoors is definitely more enjoyable in terms of just like, I don't know, more stimuli. Because we need stimuli for our brains. You could even actually say that there's quite a bit of stimuli, more stimuli actually indoors because you get to communicate with people. If you have a medium like Zwift, you get to actually crack jokes and things. You can't even crack jokes if you're riding outdoors because there's too much fucking wind. Like I said, unless you live, unless you're riding up a mountain. All right. So that's all I really want to talk about. Peace out and go vegan. Okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs>